Hey, Dollar Tree Stas. Hey, y'all. Chris and I are in Connecticut. We took some time since he's out of school to come and visit Aunt Marina. We're bringing her some yummy Chinese food that she is longing for. And after that, where are we going, Chris? Home or Dollar Tree? I can't tell well, which. Well, what's the name of the game that you want to play again? Tar Tarkov? Yeah, I want to play Tarkov with my buddies. Chris has a date with his friends to play Tarkov. But on the way back, in this completely torrential downpour, I have to stop at the Dollar Tree because the Norwalk Dollar Tree is like one of my favorite Dollar Trees. Whenever I come to Connecticut, it's either amazing or completely barren, like Tumbleweed City. Look at, look at, he's so happy. He's so happy to go to Dollar Tree. She tickled my chin? I did, I'll do anything. I'll do anything to get you to get that look off your face. Come on, people are talking. Cover my smile until I'm able to frown again. Wait, but what did you just eat that you loved? Show them, because I, I never haul that. Chris Chris will always go to the DT for this. The fruit, the true to fruit, he loves them. They're, They're okay. so good. I like them. He like loves all fruit snacks, but these gummy bears with the Bing Cherry White Peach, Strawberry Concord Grape Banana, Mandarin Grape Watermelon, Honey Crisp Apple, Red Raspberry, and Blueberry. So they like are one of those TV prompters where it's, it's like, mm. get your free television. No, 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 Yeah, he loves them. He absolutely loves them. And when your kid likes anything from the Dollar Tree, it's a good day. But going into Sifia, and then we will see you guys at the Norwalk Dollar Tree. Bye, guys. Doodles, y'all. As you guys can see, it is once again pouring rain. Okay, you guys aren't going to believe me when I show you this, but I'm not believing me as I show you this. Because in my last shop with me, I was saying how I really love these prints. I love really like this print it's super pretty even for DIYing to make canisters or this fabric is nice inexpensive at a buck 25 you can even decoupage with it we've seen the lemon one before we've seen it but as you guys can tell it's not an infinity scarf but if you watched my last fantastic shop with me I mean it was slam packed with awesome awesome brand name finds. I'm gonna put the thumbnail right here go and find it guys it'll be linked in the description box it's amazing it was an amazing shop with me I said how I wish that they had made this in a non-infinity scarf and boom my wish Dollar Tree did it look at that is that not crazy I love the daisy print I actually love all the scarves that they've made because they also this this is really pretty but the butterfly one with it being a non-infinity scarf is fantastic. I really love the butterfly print. The daisies make me crazy happy. And then we have seen this before. They have a lot of really cool scarves. They even have some solid grays if you're just chilly and need a neutral scarf and red ones. But this is so cute. Loving the butterflies and of course, forever loving the lemon. Look at all of the really pretty bins that they have brought in in gray, they have them in white. They're only $3. I think that that's a really good deal. They're huge, but what I love absolutely love are these totes now these came in last year and they were in more primary colors they had them in navy blue and red and i did buy a red one and a blue one but i'm loving these muted colors i think that they're even cute pocketbooks guys for three bucks you can tie one of the dollar tree scarves to it and make it really nice on a teeny tiny budget this pretty seafoam green or cabbage spring green is nice then we have the gray and we have the white and i think that for three dollars you just can't beat these that is a great deal they're flexible and if that's not your speed this very well might be look at these yep lidded storage i love lidded storage absolutely loving this it's only three dollars i'm seeing it in this light gray or the dark gray and it actually closes Tight and it snaps shut. It's not like Tupperware tight, but it's a pretty good fit. That is really nice and they are stackable. So for $3, I think that this is a definite pickup. If you like lidded storage, it's finally here at an affordable price. Oh, I'm seeing these bags finally in all of their versions. We have Hello Summer, the really pretty tropical one. They're $5 each. We have the striped blue and white one classic and then this one is my favorite it says stay salty look at that isn't that cool they're double sided i think that that makes them super cool they have this clear pocket for your bathing suit and then they are double sided on the other side they're beautiful and i am seeing this bag for five dollars it says soak up the sun so of course of course i'm like ah, i want to soak up the sun <laughs> and what i don't understand is 
why didn't they make matching bags? Like they don't, they kind of match, but then they don't match. But see this one, it sort of matches that one. You guys get what I'm saying? Not really, but no. Close, but no cigar. They are so cool though, for $5. Hello, Summer, we saw that one. They are really cool for five bucks. Don't you guys think that they are definitely a good price at $5 and they have this cool handle. I think that they're absolutely fabulous beach bags. Then I absolutely love these cute sponges and they are part of the April bath and shower kids line. It is a strawberry with a slightly scrubby section on the back. Not too exfoliating, but perfect for a little baby kid's skin in strawberry. And I think I need that myself. And then look at the lemon. It's so, so nice. Isn't that nice? I really like that. Really like that. And then we have avocado. And I think I need one of each. I always tell you guys how I absolutely love the April bath and shower line. And I especially love the April bath and shower line that they make for kids around this time of the year. It's so adorable. All three of these are fantastic i love them which one do you love the best avocado lemon or okay dollar tree says in this store i am seeing some new goodness and i knew there would be some items that came out that matched the bath salts that we saw and then sadie mentioned that there would be so here we have three different global beauty care masks that are actually really exciting to me because this is global beauty care and it goes with those bath salts that we saw recently. The packaging matches it. This is so cool. This is Carnation and Vanilla Firming Sheet Mask with firming serum, collagen, and vitamins A, C, and E. One sheet mask. But this, this is actually prevalent in several of the items that they've been bringing out. I am suspecting that they're bringing those out for Mother's Day gift basket making. And I love this floral print. It's really cool looking with those blues and the hot pinks. And it's violet and bergamot. You know I'm going to love this. Well, at least I know I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. Now that one was firming. This one has hyaluronic serum, vitamin A, C, and E. So that one has collagen. This one is hydrating. So they all do different things. I love a hydrating mask. Absolutely love it. They all have vitamin A, C, and E. But now this one, the sunflower and honey, and that packaging is really cute too. This one is a brightening mask. So it has niacinamide, vitamin A, C, and E. So they all have the A, C, and E and a little something different and super pretty packaging. Then I'm seeing the non-medicated Be Pure blemish patches. They absorb oil and residue, help clear blemishes overnight while you sleep and target problem areas. Great buy. People love these. My son loves them. The soda pop face masks, I should say. Aren't they delightful looking? Unfortunately, for some weird reason, my clip decided to spill itself and it was lopsided. So I will show them to you guys again. I think that they are so cool. I mean, you can even do like a movie night with your friends, get the Coca-Cola little tub, put some of these masks in, get some sodas, get some snacks, and have a fun movie night with your girls. And you can all pick a flavor for your face masks. I just think it's cute. They're just $1.25 and they're fun. And they are scented. So orange scented, cherry scented, grape scented, and this one has orange extract and hyaluronic acid or cherry extract and hyaluronic acid or grape extract and hyaluronic acid. But the packaging is a 10 out of 10. Let's see what they have in this makeup section. I am seeing the super cute eyelash case. You guys know I love love this eyelash case because it fits lots of lashes in it and that is what I like to see but I love the cherry print most of all and they did have that one last year but this year they made the lashaholic and I think that that is such a cute cute print something I feel like it was purple last year I don't remember exactly but it was definitely different and then they have been restocking these regularly I happen to love them they are a great dollar 25 pickup their makeup section is so full of stuff that we have seen. Maybe it's not the biggest jaw dropper, but what I wanna share with you is I did tell you guys that they get good stuff here and it blows out of the store and it does because look at all of the items that I am seeing here that I recently found in my area. The Maybelline Go Green lipsticks, several of which that I have already seen, but this one, I don't think I saw Rainforest in my last video. I'm not sure, but I don't think I did. They're really beautiful lipsticks. I did see this one, Maple. I actually very much like this one. It is like a cream lipstick. And then we have the Maybelline Green Edition Balmy Lip Blushes. They are a cross between like a moisturizing lip oil and I would say 
a lip stain. They're definitely hydrating and I really like that. So that one is spring number five and that was in my last shop with me. But these two colors right here, I definitely did not see in my previous video because I thought maybe it was just one through six, but this is number eight and it's called desert and it's a very nude, just a, that's actually so pretty. It's really, really nice. And then this one, this one is so coming home with me. It's number 10, Sandalwood. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. I have a funny feeling that there are a lot more than 10 because I've already found one through six. And then I am seeing that there are some scragglers all over the place of these Revlon lip cushions that are also kind of like a lip tint, but they have the cushion. I really love those. Well, I think they're actually called a lip tint. I'm calling them more of a lip stain. I love these. I think that they are really, really nice. Super hydrating. There, there are some of them in drips and drabs here, but that's what I'm saying. Like this store gets the goods, guys. It gets the goods. Do you see what I'm saying? They've got these sassy and chic eyelash curlers, freshly newly stocked in the black and the light pink and the lavender and the blue. They're getting all the things that we're seeing everywhere, but they have them all at once and it just makes life a lot easier. I love a store like this that's super well stocked. Just makes it just a lot more thrilling in that hunt. And they do have the white polished Helios here, which of course you can polish any color you want or leave them just in that white. Okay guys, I just schlepped this all the way to the register and asked them and it is $1.25 for this six pack. That's what they told me. This is the Essentia Overachieving H2O. It says ionized hydration, purified water. I swear, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know, but they told me it's all six for the buck 25, 9.5 pH or higher, it says. I mean, this is a great buy. Let me know if you've seen this in your store and if it's $1.25 for all six, because I'm definitely going to take one. During this time of year where the kids are getting out of school and we're hitting amusement parks, playgrounds, and all kinds of beach weather, I love having a good water bottle. And honestly, kids really appreciate it as well as their parents. I bought a bunch of these. They don't have all of them here, but these are actually Zach water bottles. They are so awesome. See that right there? It says Zach. I don't want to take the plastic off, but you guys can see it. They have the Avengers, Hogwarts. They've got the Minecraft left here, but now I'm seeing a whole other water bottle brand that I've never seen in the Dollar Tree, Vessel Junior. And why is it giving me Target vibes? Are these from Target? Where are they from? They have this camouflage print. I sort of love this space alien print. I think it's super cute and it does have the pop-up straw, which a lot of people prefer to this type of situation. Then we have the dinosaur train. We've got the Sesame Street with tons of characters. We have Elmo on his own with the red cap. All of and the different versions that they have. There are so many of this Vessel Junior water bottle with the straw in it. And I mean, these are from Target, guys. These are not a Greenbrier product. They have really good design, really well made, and their patterns are absolutely high-end looking. They do not look cheap. They do not look like they were $1.25. This one is my favorite with the yellow top and the daisies. Okay, I am thrilled. You guys don't even know. When I see a book section that has been freshly, freshly served and dished out on the Dollar Tree shelves, I get really excited. I do like to sift through the books, not only to find journals and fun table books, but I also really do like obscure theological or philosophical books. And DT has been having a lot of them lately. I can't wait to share with you what I found, but let's take it down to middle school, guys. Judy Bloom books are in the DT. This is so cool. They're not Greenbrier. Blubber is a good name for her. Oh my gosh, I cried rivers when I read Judy Bloom's Blubber. Do you guys remember Blubber? Then we have, then again, maybe I won't. This is an interesting way to solve the problem, but Miss Tobin was talking about a math problem on the blackboard and Tony was thinking about a real problem. Oh my gosh, I loved Judy Bloom books. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. This is one of the absolute best, best books that ever, ever I read when I was little, when I was a, a preteen, I guess. And look at this. It's like, it's uh, texting. Meanwhile, this is so old, so they updated it. I love it. And then we have Dini. When Dini sees the brace for her first time, she wants to scream, forget it. I'm never going to wear that thing. Everyone will know everyone. It's just so nice to know that girls have this series still out there because a lot of us read these books and we felt a little less alone in our, you know, 
being an adolescent girl is not easy. So these are awesome for gifts for loved ones or children. I think that that's awesome. Then I'm seeing this warm nights in Magnolia Bay. It's again, one of those like Harlequin romance type of novels. Then we have Confessions of the Other Sister. And it says, both hilarious and deeply moving. This might be Beth's best book yet. New York Times bestselling author. So I don't know, but they, aren't they always bestselling authors at the DT? That's what it always says. Clive Cussler, Fast Ice. So there are lots of books here. I'm going to try to sift through them quickly because I'm seeing a lot of really cool books that I've never seen before. Task Force. These are like... I know a lot of you guys ask me to show you all of them. So I'm going to, I love this. My husband and I picked this up and we've really enjoyed it. The Soul of Japan, Bushido. It's very cool. Like, see, those are the kind of books that I really like to get at the Dollar Tree. Happily for now, we saw that one already. Those are the Nancy Drew books, but there's some good, really good ones. We have The Wit and Wisdom of Downtown Abbey. I love this book. I already picked it up for my mother-in-law. I think it is so cool. She loves this series and it's such a cute, cute book as a little gift for someone that loves Downtown Abbey. Cappy King and the Puppy Caper, first in a new series. This case is anything but plain or simple. That is really cute, whatever it is. I think it's like a teenage type book. It's cute. The Letter for the King. But let me show, oh, A Dog's Journey. Some friendships transcend lifetimes. Oh, I bet that's a really good read if you're in the mood for a good boy meets dog type of book. Holly Berry Homicide. We've seen that before. But let me show you guys what I'm really most excited. Oh, wait, this is cool too. The Collected Short Fiction of C.J. Cherith. And this, a quarter century of short stories, shows an award-winning writer to be master of more than just novels. It's sci-fi, but it's chock full. I mean, this is a great size book. It's rare that I'm not working on a novel. Short stories often happen between novels. Consequently, my output is fairly small. But I love the tale-telling concept, the notion that I can spin a yarn rather than construct something architectural and precise. Wow, this is actually awesome for a buck twenty-five. And then I'm seeing this, Her Hidden Genius, a novel. It says, praise for her hidden genius. Marie Benedict has a remarkable talent for forcing open the cracks of history to draw extraordinary women into the sunlight. In her hidden genius, Benedict weaves together molecular biology and human psychology to bring vivid life to Rose Rosalind Franklin, whose discovery of DNA, exquisite double helix structure, takes on the narrative intensity of a thriller. Hmm, this is cool, guys, for someone who loves to read and read about powerful women who have changed history. That would be a great book. Ready for anything, a planner for preparing your home and family for an emergency. Wait, oh, oh my gosh, I've been looking for this <gasps> because this looks so good and I actually love how it's done pretty. And there's even a pandemic page on here. So this is good to read and you know, you don't have to do everything, but it's good to make a plan for certain emergencies and, you know, be safe and continue living life. But the fact that the book is kind of lighthearted looking honestly makes me happy. Prep smarter and be ready for emergencies before they hit. And, you know, of course, do it with pretty paper that makes you not super morbid and depressed. I like this. This is something I was looking for. This was a wish list item and I found it. They actually have a bunch of them, guys. So if you're looking for this book, you might be able to pick it up here. They have like five of them on the shelf. It's awesome. Can never ever read this sentence, the Sunday girl, without singing Blondie in my head. Can you? It's impossible. She has changed the meaning of that forever. But this gripping psychological thriller, the Sunday girl, Pip Drysdale, it says addictive, clever, and brilliantly written. Certainly the title was brilliantly written because it makes me judge that book by its cover. Then we have this. I think that this is cool. When and how to get out of your brain, the power of heart. This looks good. Praise for the power of heart. Every day we make important choices and vital decisions, relying on our over tired and distracted brains. Amy Block's beautiful, inspiring, and wise book is the gift of grace. We all need to remind us that our tr true source of wisdom is only a heartbeat away. This is, I think, I'm, I think I might be interested in this. I've got a new mantra of late, be less me. For much of my life, as in everyone, a lot has been about being more me. Who am I? How did I be me? Is this me? How about this? This me? That's human development for you. Heart 
is all of this. Be you, be more you, and more. Be all of you. Brain, too. Don't ever change. At a certain point, heart led me another way. The issue is, what me was I being? This is cool. Sometimes we have to take a turn. I get it. This is cool. I'm going to pick this up. Yes. Um, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes when I really like a book, my husband reads it and then tells me if it's something I'm really interested in. And then I get the audio book and listen to it in the car because I would never probably sit down and read this whole book. But he kind of loves to consume books like this. And then he knows what I like. So I find this to be really, really interesting. I, this, I think I might want to read this actually, like actually read it. It's cool. Justice versus just is. Managing difficult emotions. Oh, this is. And then we have Asha Bloomfield. Sometimes the storm is inside of you. Hurricane Summer. Ooh, searingly beautiful and heartfelt. I like that. I like the cover. Sometimes I do like to judge a book by its cover. All the Lost Things. Author of We're Made for This. Praise for All the Lost Things. Michael Sachs digs deep into the nature of emotional survival in this enthralling, heartbreaking tale. You will. Not close this book dry-eyed, but you will fall in love with Dolly and sidekick Clemesta, just as I did, a book not to be missed. Hmm. That sounds like it would be gut-wrenching. And now this woman wrote the book The Minimalist, which is very, very famous, The House of Fortune, a novel. So if you read The Minimalist, then you may be lucky enough to read her other book for a buck 25 guys then we have this Steven Erickson New York Times bestselling author The Fiends of Nightmaria <laughs> okay it says a Malzahn tale of Bao Shalane and Corbel Roche I don't know but if you know then you know Dear Emmy Blue a novel a delightful story about how the things we imagine to be best for us usually aren't okay wow there are really some awesome books in the DT, guys. Some really awesome books. And I'm seeing this, a novel, book two of the Numina series. <laughs> Numina kind of sounds like a cult, guys. What is this? Is this sci-fi? Truth of the Divine, Lindsay Ellis, New York Times bestselling author of Axiom's End. What is Axiom's End? Even the font in the book is a little bit unique. The Truth of the Divine is the latest alternate history first contact novel in Numina, series from the instant New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Los Angeles bestselling author list. Okay, so the human race is at a crossroads. Okay, so this is like an alternate history book. Very interesting. So kind of sci-fi, Truth of the Divine. This is a big book for a buck 25. It looks really good. If you like stuff like that, and especially if you read Numina, which obviously was on several bestselling author lists, to be able to get it for a buck 25 is unbelievable. As you guys can see, this book was $28.99 originally. So that is a great value. This is why I love the book section. I like to look through it and think of all the people who I know who enjoy reading books like that and text them and see if they're interested. I just love to get such a great deal. And I love, I actually love books. Now this enthralling, searching, profound, and extraordinarily powerful work of Jewish identity in the 21st century. That's what the description is. God is in the crowd. This is definitely a book that I know my husband is going to enjoy reading. So I'm going to pick that up. And that was 28 bucks originally. And when my husband hears about a book, he just orders it on Amazon. And believe me, he pays the 28 bucks. So I'm going to add this to his summer reading list for just a buck 25 score. I just saved like 20 something dollars. Okay, so this book I shared with you guys the other day. And after I walked away from it, I was like, you know what? That book is so bizarre that I need to look at it again. I ended up picking it up. And I have to admit, I find it really intriguing. It is so just strange but this is part of our history and it says Teresa O'Neill's signature blend of history and humor dot 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 now it's true like the book is really funny it's um, illustrated really provocatively and it's kind of like old wives tales and beliefs that were held during Victorian times I've already looked through it I've, I've read a lot of it and I think it's hilarious <laughs> how much beer wine cyanide and heroin to consume while pregnant crazy. There, there is some crazy, I, my video is going to get flagged. How to select the best peasant teat for your child. Are you guys hearing the things that I'm saying? Which foods won't turn your children into sexual deviants and so much more? I mean, fascinating historical beliefs, but it's, you know, it's put together in a kind of snarky, 
this is a cool book. And for some people, maybe on your list of gifts that you need to pick up, this is definitely, if you have a friend that's into steampunk stuff or maybe medical anomalies or medical collectors of things like that, look at this. Jon Snow Chloroform Inhaler, the kind used on Queen Victoria. It's just a very interesting book for someone who likes things like this, The Victorian Unusual and Bizarre. Now this Zen Doodle Coloring Book, it's an adult coloring book and it is really cute. It says tear out pages ready to frame. Isn't it cool? It's all sorts of pictures of cute puppies to color. I think it's actually very cool. Look at how nice. And adult coloring books are not cheap. So for the puppy enthusiast, the coloring enthusiast, all those things, this would be another great savings because, again, it's not Greenbrier, guys. And I'm sure that this, I think it says 16. I can sort of see it there. I don't know how much it was, but it's definitely a great $1.25 buy. Now this by Johanna Basford, 30 Days of Creativity. This is a beautiful book. Now this is the kind of book that I know most people look to pick up at the DT. It was originally $17. Look at that gorgeous gold foil. It is draw color and discover your your creative self it's like a journal but for 30 days it's so cool for me flowers and nature are endlessly inspiring and constantly calming there's no hustle and bustle here just a couple of simple floral motifs waiting to flourish will you opt for delicate muted tones or bold tropical bright ones see like i always want to be the muted tones person but i always grab the bright ones so it helps you kind of go wait what does this say it helps you kind of go outside the lines. There you go. See that? How cool is that? It's a cute, cute book and kind of not journal, but it could also begin the process of getting to know yourself better and journaling. It's just 30 days. You can develop a creative habit that allows a little more calm joy into your life. Awesome. Then they have this. Now somewhere in the world, this was $10.99. It looks like Walmart to me. And the queen of change let this be your year of clarity, connection, and direction. The listening path is your guide to creative and personal transformation. This looks very interesting. Taking your own advice. This looks cool. Go to a children's bookstore. Go to a pet shop. Go to an art supply store. Go to a movie. Go to the zoo. Hmm, the artist date, it's called. I don't know, but I kind of like this too. It's the creative art of attention. So many cool books here today, guys, like really cool books. In a time of unnecessary noise, listening is the artist's way forward. That's cool too. And last, but I think definitely not least, it's called Questions and Answers, A Day in the World for Travelers. 365 questions, three years, 1,095 answers at home, it's called. And it is a big fat journal. I think it's amazing for a buck 25. Look at that. You can use this for so many things. You can just use it to journal in for the next three years. Whether you are climbing a far off mountain, venturing across the country, or simply exploring a new neighborhood. Yeah, that is super awesome for a buck 25. Right as I'm walking away from the book section, I'm seeing these on the very bottom shelf here. And I'm like, what do we have here? Oh, yes. This is, again, a product that is not Greenbrier. Do you guys hear this? It's metal from the Tin Box Company. I love stuff like this because it's just, it lasts forever and you can use it for so many things. There are LOL surprise catch-alls, they're calling them. This is so cool. You know these were like 10 bucks somewhere in the world. Love this very retro print, by the way. LOL surprise. They're like my favorites. Look at this cute picture. It says, hashtag squad goals. How cute perfect pencil case, makeup brush, travel case, you name it. It's awesome. Then we have this print with tons of the girls. So, so cute. Again, very retro print in a teal. And then for the pink lover, we have BFF forever with the exclamation point. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this one. She's like a Madonna wannabe. It's so, so cute. And then look at all the hearts on the other side. That is so cool for just $1.25. These are $1.25, guys. Great, great buy. And then back there, I know you guys see, I don't see this all that often in the DT. These are Buzz Lightyear. It looks like the whole box is for Toy Story to infinity and beyond. Buzz, I love it. <laughs> the Sheriff is here, made to play. That is cool, actually. These are very, oopsie. 
These are very different than what we normally see in the DT. Isn't that cool? Playtime with all of the characters. Kids are gonna love these. Pick them up, add them to their Easter baskets. I, I wonder if there are more out there than LOL dolls and Toy Story. Let me know, guys, because I, I think these are awesome. And then as we're trudging along, look at this. I'm seeing those cool paperless crayons again that I kind of really dig by Bic Kids, which I think is just awesome. 24 crayons and they are absolutely fabulous. I picked them up for my nieces. But now here, this is something I have never seen. At least I don't remember seeing it, but I would remember this. They're crazy art scented crayons, super scented. <sighs> Guys, I can smell it through the box. This is coming with me. My nieces are gonna love this. I'm getting that. That is so cool. Of course, we need to because they're at that age where sharing is not caring. <laughs> that is all I'm gonna say. They've got the cosmic crayons. And then we have the 16 pack. These are a little fatter, but I just saw Sadie Hall, these fat crayons that look so cool. I was looking for those for my nieces. These are jumbo crayons, but they're not the ones that I wanted. They're cool too. But honestly, being able to get stuff like this for $1.25, just makes me so happy because I mean, there are places right now where crayons are three and five dollars. Who wants to spend that kind of money on crayons when you don't have to? Not me. So I'll just give you guys a little peruse of their crayon stuff. We've seen these before, but I just, I love them also. The skin tone crayons and the metallic crayons. Those are nice. It's nice to have just a crazy amount of crayons if you're a person who enjoys coloring, obviously. Now this in Crafter Square is a felt flower kit. I wonder what it's, oh, what? Is that what it ends up looking like? All of these things, wow, this is cool. Do you guys see that? So there's a lot of stuff in there. That is pretty, pretty fun, 15 pieces. Then we have this one. There's like a lacy blue effect here. I mean, the blue one has like a lacy kind of effect with that silver thread running through it. So let's see, oh, what? I don't know if I could actually make this happen. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little complicated, but I know that there are people like that becomes the ruffle. It's cool. And we have the yellow one. Ooh, I love it. I wish, I hope, hmm, I don't know. But see how you roll that up and it becomes like the pom pommy looking flower. That is cool. Then we have this one. Oh, that's so like modern farmhouse looking, right? It's pretty neat, I think. These would be great to put on pillows. Don't you guys think? Great to embellish some plain sofa pillows with also. I like I like them, they're very cool. And they're felt, so they're real fabric. Oh wow, this one is the most vibrant. The purple is really nice with the red. I like that a lot. Well, it's like magenta. Those are really pretty. Look at that, remember these iron-on transfers? I really like these. Also have this plastic five-piece clay craft tool set. Dollar Tree has the wooden ones also somewhere out there still. I've seen them lately, but this is something I have not seen. And this could be used in all types of crafting, sculpting type media that, you know, that can withstand the plastic. So that's cool. I, don't, I wonder if you could even use this when you're pumpkin carving. Maybe not, but it's definitely interesting to have something like that to start out with for the buck 25 instead of spending like 20 or 30 dollars at michael's so in the connecticut store which i told you guys i always find awesome stuff in in norwalk connecticut i do see the menstrual pain relief well somebody opened that one but i see the motion sickness relief packs and those are a great savings the knockoff extra strength back and body that you get 24 of those the allergy. I love to see stuff like this at the DT, guys. Absolutely love it because it's money that you save that you get to buy fun, cool things with. And I see that they are stocking it. But what I'm really excited to see is their whole little Guru Nanda section. They have the saline premixed packs here if you're on the lookout for them. I already shared them, but if you're local and you're looking, come and get them. They also have the two stick packs of the Guru Nanda Hydrate Electrolyte Drink Mix. This is a good item to have just in case you get sick, add it to your water so you don't have to get dehydrated. Now, the other day I showed you guys that they have a new Modest giant wipe that I don't see here, but I'm seeing the 10 Modest basic pads for a buck 25. I really love the Modest pads. They also have the ultra thin regular flow. They're both regular flow. You get 10 or 10. This one's thin. This one's basic but basically for a buck 25 those are a great buy in my opinion they work great i wish they had the new wipes here because 
I actually love them. The scent is really nice. Wait a minute. I am seeing a citrus infused exfoliating bath glove. Yes, this is cool because I love anything. This color and citrus and the packaging is so cool. It matches the face masks. That is really nice. We have seen these and I just, I gotta tell you guys, I love these giant exfoliating washcloths because I really like abrasive, heavy duty, aggressive exfoliation. And I know not everybody does, but I really like that. I think it's awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are on our way into the Dollar Tree right now. And Chris has decided that he's gonna find some crafting items while he's on break. So let's see what a 16 year old boy picks out in the Dollar Tree for crafting. Okay, guys, we're getting in there. Chris, what are you doing? Oh my God. You're praying to the Haribo gods, Chris. <laughs> God, this is hilarious. This is the best ever. That's a sweet treat. I know you love those. You could get others. Do you want more? This is why I come to the DT guys, because we are a Sour Patch Gummy Bear kind of family. This is Christopher's favorite tinker section. Tinkerer section. He loves to find stuff to use in his little world that he's made and he's been updating and just, is it a zombie world? What is it exactly, Chris? Okay, well. I just like building little like, sets. Yeah, little worlds. So what is it that you're gonna be getting from you? Velcro, it's always the Velcro. They have the roll Velcro. Oh, they don't have the black one though. I'm sorry, they don't call it Velcro at Dollar Tree. They call it hook, hook and loop. loop. Yeah, because they'll it's get like sued. British Velcro. Yeah, shapes. but is it? Oh, you got a hook and loops. Well, why don't you get yeah the hook and loops? Why don't you get the black one? No, yeah, because I can cut these. Okay. Shapes. And you're not going to get the electrical tape. You always get that too. You have the tape in the cart. You don't want the electrical tape this time. Electrical tape is great, but I like the silver tape more for what I do. Show so sticky and show tape. us what your duct tape. Ah, uh, duct tape. You're getting... <laughs> okay, that's cute. And what else is in the cart that you've selected? Dirt. Wait, there's actual... Yeah, what are you... Oh, okay. For moss. moss for the I make a landscapes. And then epoxy. For epoxy it. glue. Of course, he got some of the Thank Haribo you. cherries. He doesn't like to buy them in bulk because he doesn't want them to go stale. And he got white gravel for what, making driveways? Snow. Oh, snow. All right, so let's keep looking. <laughs> so you want those pencil sharpeners? I always lose my pencil sharpeners when I have them because they're like the one thing I use throughout the day because I sketch a lot. So I'm buying in bulk this time. <laughs> no fancy pencil sharpeners for you. You just want the wholesale 12 pack. Yep. I never knew that. All American consumers and give me a wall. <laughs> so you getting Chris? It's really nice big pen. You got to show us the pen. I've been really wanting a nice drawing pen and this looks pretty oh, good. The big, let me see it. Let me see it. You have to do it like Vanna. Gel, smooth. I'm just kidding. Long lasting writing. Okay, so every time I see these, I'll grab them because I know we'll lose them. <laughs> Chris, it's us. It'll be gone. Uh, we should pick up 10. <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic. Okay, what else are we getting? You picked up these for two little girls. So. Your cousins? Okay, so they're getting they Iha. The they already have all the other ones, but they fought over those and broke them. So they need replacements. All right, let's go pay. What else? Because Dollar Tree's all about the snacks. Slim Jims and some Starry. He said that it looks delicious. It doesn't look delicious, it looks intriguing. Yes, intriguing. And I'm noticing the Andy Caps barbecue fries, corn and potato snacks. I don't remember them in barbecue. I remember when you were little, you loved been holding out a flavor for me. <laughs> I just don't remember the barbecue flavor. Comment down below if they've always had the flavor in barbecue. What do you think, Chris? Oh, Chris, what do you think of this? We all know I look like the type of person who drink pickle juice. Some things, maybe they weren't made to be pickleified. Really? You love the pickled chips. That's because I'm disgusting, but this is disgusting. Those were glorious. Uh oh, uh oh. So Chris does not want dill pickle popcorn. He just loves the pickle chips. And these are Sweet Chaos Delightfully Disruptive Dill Pickle Popcorn with Real Dill Vinegar. I probably would love it because it's non-GMO and I actually love popcorn. Chris, the only way that those things are edible is if they really tone down the pickle bit. And at that point, why are you even making a pickle? Yeah, but you love these. The Mexican sweet corn, remember? You love this one. Oh, I do actually. I didn't even notice those. You should take a couple bags of those. Yeah, I'm taking one of these. I don't know. On a different day, he would have loved the dill pickle popcorn, but I'll leave it alone. You know how boys are. Yeah. 
Now this is the moment where you drive me crazy. I, I suggest eat the popcorn, but I will eat the MRE pickle. <laughs> so this, this you want. Emergency pickle. And Chris like loves these pickles, which is why I just assumed that he would love the dill pickle popcorn. But today, that was not on the list. What else? What else during the spring break? 16 year old shopping haul. Remember when we saw these in Philadelphia, the super duper glittery, they do have a little bit of fallout, but not too much. They all have white, like painted on lettering. Dream big, just be cool, good vibes only, and shine bright. Those are definitely shiny and shining bright. These solar lights are back out guys. And when I was in Ollie's recently, they have a glass one. They're like $9. They made them look better than ever before actually. I'm really digging them. The butterfly mason jar looking solar lights. They come in the yellow. Oops. They come in the purple. Do you guys see the purple butterfly in there? Okay, I gotta put that back together and I'll be right back. Don't worry guys, no solar powered butterfly mason jars were um, injured in this video. We have the red and we have the blue. So blue, red, really pretty purple and yellow and these are so beautiful for that dollar 25 they are a great deal and they brought these back and i actually really enjoy these every year these are one of the few solar lights that doesn't hold up to the elements wonderfully but they are so pretty pretty in the spring and summer months in a little path i really like them and they shine their light like in here which is the cool part they kind of just shine like a colored light it's cool see that they're bringing out their flip-flops and I see that they're kind of making the straps a little iridescent, a little plastic glittery, a little iridescent metallicness, a little bit of extra something something, but I love the kids flip flops I think are awesome. Do you guys see the glitter with the butterflies, the glitter with the rainbows? These are great. Look at how cute for a buck 25. They're actually cool. Oh my gosh, they made the butterfly ones for adults. For just running in and getting a Manny Petty maybe, I would use them. Beyond that, not so much because I just need a little extra, but I love the flamingo one, the lemon. I'm really loving the prints that they put out this year. And I'll take a step back so you guys can get a better look. And they have the good vibes. They have some of the men's ones down there. They're great for poolside or something like that. I think that for $1.25, they are actually a good buy. Wait, when I told you to get the pickle popcorn, you had no interest and you're already eating the pickle? Cheers, I'm a pickle purist, man. <laughs> You're hilarious sometimes. This boy loves pickles. That's a refreshing drink right there. But he just is always changing his mind on things. Put on your seatbelt. Let's get out of here and go to the next DT. Turn on. Okay, of course it is. Now these look different to me. I'm positive I've never seen them before. Look at how cute that is. It's a pomegranate. That's different. And it's those block list pads where you get 60 sheets, but they do like three different things. These are always cool. No magnet on the other side. Then we have this one. Love this. And people love this stuff to do. Then the cherry motif. And then this is this right here, as you guys can see. And then this one has got morning, afternoon, and evening. Cool. And then this one is kind of farmhousey and boho. And it actually really looks like that was wicker, right? It gets very deceiving. Those are cool. I think this one is so unique, though, with the pomegranate. It's very cool. Wow, now I'm seeing the spicy jalapeno jasmine rice and the Mahatma chipotle jasmine rice. Now I did see this in Ollie's in different flavors at a dollar, but it's so convenient to pick these items up here at the Dollar Tree for the buck 25 non-GMO. I love this brand. I wish they had the Bombay rice because that is really, really good. These are the Modest basics that I was talking about. They are pH balanced, you get 18, and this fragrance is completely different than the one that we've had in the past. It actually doesn't say what the fragrance is. Isn't that strange? But it has a really awesome scent, you guys. And I am really excited to see them stocking these everywhere. Look, somebody else was, obviously, because they dumped this 36 pack and grabbed this 18 pack. It is so much more worth it. These are huge and luxurious. Oh, wow. These are back in stock and so excited to see them. The coconut water, just for her, individually wrapped flushable cleansing wipes 12 per box and what's great about these is they're great for making period packs that's number one because they're individually wrapped but they're also a brand name they smell amazing and they're a buck 25 i mean you can't beat it and they're plant-based 
These are wonderful. I love them. They are biodegradable, eh, iffy on the flushable. You do you. And finally, I am seeing these super exciting little gems, pardon the pun, because not only are they cuticle oil, but they actually have little gems. Do you guys see them? They are literally little gems. We have the rose quartz crystal, the green aventurine, is that what it is? Crystal green aventurine thought it was called something else. Amethyst crystal and lapis lazuli. I love this packaging. I love all the gimmickiness of it. I think it's fantastic. And just recently in my Five Below shop with me, there was something similar to this and it was not $1.25. So you go be pure. I am loving the things that they are doing. Now I have gone over all of these lipsticks with you guys. The Go Green Maybelline. You guys, they are wonderful and worth our $1.25. Absolutely worth it. But not only have they brought us all of these awesome vegan Maybelline lipsticks, if you want to see each and every shade, make sure to check out the video that I will link in the picture so you can find it and go check out all of the colors. I went through them all and I bought them already, but they have restocked some of the prettiest L'Oreal colors. The last time around, we had some iffy shades. This time around, they are bringing us beautiful reds, gorgeous pinks. I mean, these are perfect Mother's Day gifts. Absolutely fantastic for a buck 25. I'm also seeing by Helios, these again, I love these. Aren't they so pretty with the red and pink? They're really gorgeous. Of course, everyone knows you get 24 nails, the glue's included for a buck 25, you can't beat it. And then we're seeing these abstract design again, super cool gold foil with shiny and matte pinks by Pretty Woman Faux Nails, buck 25. Again, glues included and they are 24 nails for that dollar 25. Those are really beautiful. They have a large, large, false nail selection. The DT is just exploding with all kinds of false nails to choose from. Something that I'm finding of interest right here, the Helios Nail System Gel Effect. I have not seen these before and they are super cute. Now those are definitely screaming Valentine's Day. They have a ton of them because these are all the same. Do you guys see that? They are all the same. You got 24 nails, the glue's included, buck 25 can't beat that and there's not only one style they also have these and these iridescent nails are super pretty but they are not helios they are the pretty woman faux nails also come with the glue again 24 nails really pretty those colors are super pretty and then i'm also seeing that they have so many items that have sold out everywhere else so if you're on the hunt for the cool clear makeup bags or these, the essentials ones. You guys know everything I'm talking about. It's here, guys. And these, well, they do have these be kind ones. And you saw, you guys have seen those. I'm not going to share them again. But these, these are my favorite bags that they made this year. And they sold out everywhere so quickly. The Believe You Can. And it's a full case of them, guys. So if you have not gotten your hands on those yet, they just got them in here. And I am seeing some other items that I have not yet seen at all. Or, oh, wait, look at this blast from the past, actually. This is back, the Salon Selectives Argon Oil Hair Treatment. This is pretty good. It's sulfate free and it is five ounces. This is actually a pretty decent product. It smells really good and I haven't seen that in a while. And we have this Tropical Bloom by LA Colors. It's fantastic guys, Island Girl. Look at this, the packaging is awesome. Are you guys seeing this? This I really like, it's, it's like a whole face. We have, this is out of place, but now we have a whole face. This is very cool. See like all the purples, then the blues, and then the magentas, beautiful. I absolutely love Caribbean Crush Lipstick. It's very pretty, really nice. And the Away We Go eyeshadow palette is also really nice. I'm loving it. And the black, very black mascara goes with this face. And this is the blush that they've paired with it. It's called Sun Up. This is nice. Then you have this collection, the Bahama Mama. Do you guys see that lipstick? They're cream lipsticks. And this palette, it's called Time to Retreat. And actually, that's really nice too. I think that these quads are actually fantastic. All three of them are really, really pretty. So we have Time to Retreat in that quad. And then we have Aqua Sea Mascara. Then we have this really cool blush called A Bloom. It's really pretty. And then in the purple family, we've got Island Girl, which is really, really cool. It's like a pink, do you guys see that color? Really nice. Then we have this eyeshadow palette called Cruise Control, which is funny and fabulous. 
good color combo. We have the purple, tropical purple mascara and the gazing blush. I think that this blush is my favorite. I'm really digging that. I like the dark peaches and the browner tones. And they also have all of these again. And they have the vibe in, they've got the bubble tea, they've got it going on, but this is brand new. Oh boy, there's even more of these pencil cases and Ariel is a weakness of mine. <gasps> Mermaids are real, yes they are, and they're really going in my card. Then we have this purple case right here with the detective Ariel and her bubbles. So cute. I mean, she's not a detective. You guys get it. She looks like she's in deep thought. And then here we have this super cute scene and it says something make something magical. I don't know what exactly it says, but again, these are hinged lidded boxes. So cool, you guys. For all kinds of storage solutions, they are Disney licensed and made by the Tin Box Company, which is a brand brand name. These are wonderful absolutely awesome for a buck 25 you cannot beat them and i feel like i need one of everything i actually just love ariel so we have seen the smoke out and the smoke odor eliminator great sense candles before but i've never seen the orange blossom honey i've seen the wax melts and i have to tell you guys it's oh well the wax melts smell really good this doesn't have much of a fragrance maybe i got a dud i'll try again Oh, I'm so disappointed. There is almost zero fragrance coming off of this candle, and I had a lot of high hopes. Let me know if your store has ones that are pretty good, because these are not very highly fragranced, but they are orange, so that also works depending on what you want to do with them. $1.25. Finally seeing the stain remover wipes. I mean, finally. I, I have two boys to contend with, so I am always in search of ways to keep the clothes looking clean and we have 12 individually wrapped wipes that lift stains on the go and this is clearly a shout out dupe so this is amazing and I'm, of course I'm singing shout shout it out in my head for a buck and a quarter I'm gonna take two of those they are definitely a good buy and then behind it I'm sure you guys noticed that they have plenty of the home bright wrinkle away spray releases wrinkles removes static and eliminates odors and refreshes in a linen scent this works really good guys i picked it up and i actually love it and they've even restocked the downy rinse and refresh this stuff is awesome it definitely reboosts clothes like you just bought them from the store it takes all the odors that are trapped in them away now this i've never seen before you get two of them but this is arm and hammer which i love and it's a garbage disposal cleaner but here we have this bleach alternative two of them for a buck 25 and it looks like the brand is just i don't even know what the brand is i don't really see a brand but oh rejoice international i think this must have just been made for the dollar tree looks like and who knows if you need it and this isn't in your store you know that's definitely better than spending a lot more anywhere else my gosh these are on the shelf side by side the dawn platinum at six ounces or the dawn at seven and a half ounces or the palmolive oxy which i'm gonna be honest i feel like this is a really good alternative to dawn in general lately i do pick this up as well i i don't know if it's the color or what the deal is but i do like it but you guys know i'm a power wash girl all the way so this is this is gut wrenching here I see that they have these in stock again they brought them back in and i love them although you only get two these bags are awesome for the buck 25 would have been great if there were three. If there were three, four, or even five, I would be delighted, but they're a really great size. They're very heavy duty, and I think that they're a good buy. And here on the clip strips, I am seeing these. They hydrate and nourish. This one says you're peachy, you're one in a melon. <laughs> so they're, we, they're adorable. And then we have this one, you're very nice. Are those not so cute for a buck 25? They are really perfect for Easter basket stuffing. Excellent, excellent, just on time. These new sunglasses are kind of bougie, guys. I'm a little bit loving them. And of course, I'm gonna have to pick some up. You guys know how I feel about sunglasses. Do you guys see these? These are so cool. I really like those. Then they have those beautiful rattan cases that we saw the other day by Juncture. I mean, I love these. They are so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love them, beautiful display. And then they have these. They're almost like snowboarding goggles for just a buck 50, not a bad buy. What I was referring to that I haven't seen anywhere else yet are these Body Raves raspberry scented lip glosses that look like soda pop and grape. Oh no, raspberry, but it's purple. And then we have, we have several flavors. We've got the strawberry scented lip gloss. So we have raspberry, strawberry, 
Then I'm seeing blueberry scented with a cute little blue. I wonder if it, I think it looks like it might have a stick in there. I don't know how you apply it, but here's the blueberry one. And then we also have it in orange. So orange soda, blueberry soda, raspberry soda, strawberry soda. Definitely super duper cute for Easter basket stuffing and just in time for it. Wow, I am seeing tons of brand. Oh, wow, what, what? Wow, this is cool because it is black 3X, 4X, which is pretty big. It's actually probably not gonna be shapewear on me, but still, that's a good buy. One for $1.25 for a body shaper. Guys, that's a great deal. I hope that they have other sizes. I actually do not see any other sizes in this store other than 3X, 4X, but if you're that size, that's a great pickup. But I am seeing some other items, guys. Sun beige, two pairs of control top, ultra sheer leg, silken mist, pantyhose. So these are pantyhose. So they're all sun beige, even though the back shows black. I thought these were black. So it looks like they have the ultra sheer sun beige in size B. And then it looks like the other one that they have, it's very up high, by the way. <laughs> that is why it's like this. The other one that they have is a control top queen, two pairs, guys. So the queen fits 145 to 200 pounds, two pairs, compression sheer tights, medium support leg in suntan shade. Also very, very cool. I mean, that is really awesome. What else do we have here? I'm seeing a lot of amazing $1.25 scores. They have the Keds fleece footless tights here for sizes four to six and kids. I am seeing the massaging foot covers. Oh, I love these. I actually really do love these. You get two pairs by Hanes for a buck 25 in size nine to 12. And these are awesome right in time for the season because they're great to wear with your high heels or sandals that are closed toe if you just wanna have something. See that, how amazing is that? Okay guys, so last night I stopped in the Farmingdale store and recorded some footage, of some awesome new items that I had not yet seen, but I left my wallet behind. And as luck would have it, or fate, these wish list items that I have been looking for are being put out right now as I came back to ask them if they had found my wallet. So I got my wish list items, these awesome nautical seahorses that I love, and my wallet. Could, I can't even, you guys, it was meant to be. And I'm seeing the beautiful bird canvases right next to them. But some stores are putting the shore living line stuff just anywhere. Here in Farmingdale, these beautiful seahorses are just sitting here next to the dog food in the picture frame section. Is that not crazy? But that's how the nautical shore living line is being distributed in some of your Dollar Trees. So look everywhere and don't forget your wallet. I'm finally seeing these Global Beauty Care cleansing cloths that are floating around in the DT. They are a 25 count, violet and bergamot. You guys already know that I love the color of this and the packaging. These are the hydrating ones that have the hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, C, and E, 25 of them. Then we have sunflower and honey, and these are brightening with brightening serum that contains niacinamide, vitamin A, C, and E, and that packaging is so pretty. And then lastly, we have these. Carnation and vanilla are firming with collagen, vitamin A, C, and E. They all sound really good though, don't they? We're gonna have to give those a try. That's it guys, have you guys found anything amazing lately? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video and please make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe. Stay safe and stay savvy guys, bye-bye.